I've been living in my 450 square feet apartment for a little over a year now, and I've already noticed some things that just work for me living here. So here are 10 things that just make sense in my studio apartment. So the first item would be this under the cabinet paper towel holder. I don't know what was into me when I first moved into this apartment, but I was using one of those rinky dink stands that go on your countertops. And whenever I would rip the paper towel, just topple over. Also, this saves me so much space on my countertops, allowing it to be clear free and not too cluttered. This one actually got from Amazon, which is this nice brushed gold one that is actually an adhesive one. They do have some that you can drill to under your cabinets, but because I do live in an apartment, I feel like this was the safest option and it works really well. Second would have to be this roll up drying rack. I believe I actually got this from Amazon or Ikea, I'm not sure, but I will definitely be linking all these products down below. But this is also great at saving space on your countertops, especially in a studio apartment, because you can just roll it right out when you're washing your dishes. As I do have a dishwasher, sometimes certain items like these pans, I do need to wash by hand, as well as these ice cube trays. And this just works really well. When you're done, you can just roll it right up and then tuck it away. Next are these suction hooks from Ikea. I love these hooks so much because once again, they are damage free if you are living in an apartment like I am and you can hang so many things on this. I have one in my kitchen, which I literally use for my hand mittens and my pot holders, which works really well because I could just grab it and go when I need it. And sometimes I'll even hang my measuring cups on there, which is also pretty handy. I do also have one in my bathroom for my loofah and that works really great as well. So just grab the loofah when you're ready to shower and hang it right back up when you're done. Next is also an item from Ikea, which is also a suction bathroom wall organizer. Now I know a lot of people usually have like those corner shelves in their showers or bathtubs, but for me, I didn't have any of that. So I did need some sort of organization, which this organizer actually helps a lot because it is suction. So once again, against this tile, it works great. And it's really strong as well, holding all of my shampoos and conditioners and body wash. And it also helps keep my shower clutter free. Next is this wooden bench that I actually keep in my shower and I got this gifted from my best friend and she got it from Amazon for me for my housewarming slash apartment warming gift. And I just like having this for my everyday items like my body scrubs that I'm always reaching for. Also, if you're a girl like me that has a shower and not a bathtub, it's kind of hard to shave because you don't really have that ledge like a bathtub to put your leg on. So this bench actually helps in that scenario, but I also just like the way that it looks. Next in my living room area would have to be this cube bench organizer. Now, I love this organizer because you can have it on the floor horizontal like I do or vertical like I used to have, but I kind of keep it this way because you can also use this as a bench for more seating in your apartment and also as a storage organizer. So as you can see, I have some bins and baskets. Some of them are very messy and no, they do not match. I do need to get some matching ones, but they do just help me put some of my clutter away as well as being able to decorate this to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. Next is the C-shaped side table. Now I love this side table because it is very small, especially for my small space. And because it's a C-shape, you do have that underneath open area that you can actually use as storage as well. So I just have like a basket and some vinyls under there. And it's very slim and fits perfectly in this spot. I think it just works really well. They come in all different colors. I have a black one, which is actually from Amazon, but you can get some that are like a wood detail. I think they even have like an acrylic glass type, which I would really have loved to get. But I do just love how it works in this space, allowing it not to be too bulky in my living room. Next would have to be the storage ottoman that I got from Target, which is specifically the Threshold brand. And I keep anything and everything in this ottoman. It is great for storage. You could put anything in here from bags to clothes to winter stuff like I have. And it also works as even a footrest. And I think it's just really nice. Of course, mine doesn't exactly match my couch, but you can get this in so many different variations and fabrics. And it just works perfectly in a small space like mine. 
Next is this folding paper stool. So I believe I got this from Flying Tiger Copenhagen about four or five years ago now, and it has lasted me so long. I basically just use it as another sort of side table for my living room area. So I could just put like my mug, cause I usually sit on the left side of my couch, or even a candle you can light here. And it just works so well in this small, narrow walkway into my bedroom. And what's even better about it is that you can actually use this as another seating option in your apartment. So it actually opens up to a stool and you kind of just use these velcro tabs to keep it closed and voila you have it So I really like this. I love the color of this I know they have other options on Amazon that you can get so I will definitely be linking that down below And last but definitely not least is this slim target lamp So I actually have two of these next to my TV and this is from the project 62 brand and it basically just has this like little foot push button on the bottom so you can easily just turn it on and i love these because they are so slim but still bright up my apartment just well so that is all the items that i had to share that makes living in this studio apartment so much easier for me i do want to find other things that can help me out in this space but for now this is what i have for you guys today so i hope you guys enjoyed and i would definitely see you guys in the next one thanks for watching